Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse. In this one tutorial, we're trying to learn about a different web framework called Iris. So Iris is a very powerful backend web framework built on top of Go or Golang for short, but Kataras is a very simple and very easy and fast web framework. So we'll be shifting from Python and Julia to Go. So what is Go? So Go is a programming language which was created by Google and it's a very simple open source programming language that makes it easy to build simple, reliable, efficient software. So to install it, just go to the official website, then click on download Go, then download it on your system, Linux, Macintosh, Windows, FreeBSD. Okay. Now let's see what we are going to learn about today. So we learn about Iris. So Go has several web frameworks that you can work with. We have the Gen framework, we have the Buffalo, we have Ravel, we have Echo, we have uh, Beagle, and then several of them, right? So the advantage of working with a Go web framework is that the APIs are very similar. So in case you know Iris, you can just easily learn Gen, right? In case you know Buffalo, you can just learn any of them. So it's very, very simple. The APIs are very similar. It's very easy to learn. And then in case you know Node or you know Blast, it's also very simple to learn Iris because the APIs are very simple. Now let's see how to work with Iris. So Iris was created by Kataras. So to install it, just go straight away to your terminal and just go with Go Get. So that's how to fetch a particular package in Go, right? Go get update, then the name of the package, which is github.com kataras iris, right? So we're going to go to the particular package, particular URL, and then fetch that package and add it to your Go path for us. Perfect. So now let's work with this straight away. So to work with Go, you can use Sublime Test or VS Code. In case you are working on VS Code, just go to your extensions, then search for Go, then it's going to give you the Go extension. And just click on it and install it. It's going to give you some interesting and cool features to make your work easier. In the same way, in case you are working on Sublime Test, you can also do the same thing. So, perfect. Now let's start with it. So I'm just going to create simple stuff here. Simple Go file. So it's going to be most people call it as main.go, but let's change it from main to app.go. It can be any name.go. Perfect. So now let's start with this. So to work with any Go programming language, you must start with the package main. So the package main does not refer to the name main here, right? So that's why you don't name it as main. In case most people think that the main is referring to this, no. Like the main is totally different. So the main is the global stuff. stuff. So main, and the next thing you're going to go is that we need to import the package that you want to use. So you're going to be importing the package. The package you're working with is the Kataras package, right? The Iris package. So perfect. So now that is it. Busy stuff. Now you can have access to all the features that Kataras has to give to us. And the next thing is that we need to create a function called main, our main function, which is going to be the function that everything is going to be done inside. So everything we're working on this program will be inside this main function, right? So this is the when Go is running, it's going to run this particular main function. Perfect. So now let's start with it. So it's going to create our first variable, so it's going to be up, then this format. So this is how to create a simple variable in Go. You can make it like this. Var app. Right, you can make it like this, but let's use a simple format. So var app, then iris dot name. So the iris dot name is going to pick this particular iris, then initialize from this place. Right, picking it from here. This is going to be our initialization. So we'll just call it as initialize app. So this is we are going to put our first start right, app. Then the next thing we need is the app dot run so the app run is going to tell us the kind of package that you want to run on so app dot run once you should always remember that most of the functions that come with that this app comes start with capital right so app dot run then go supply your iris dot address eddr right that is the address you'll be supplying that is the port you'll be listening on then just go with let's say port 5000 right any port can be port 5000 Okay, so that is the simplest time. So everything that we'll be doing, we're going in between this place, right? So we have a listening port, then we have our initialize up here. Okay, so now let's create our first route. So we'll do our first route, our first stuff, right? So to work with it, it's going to be you can just use a normal app dot get. Remember that it must always start with capital. So we have get, we have post, we have put, we have party, and then several of them. So app dot get. Then it takes several arguments. So the first argument is going to be the route, right? The URL that you want to go. Then the second argument is going to be the function. So this function takes a contest of iris.contest. Right? So it can be this CTS can be C, it can be T, it can be any name, but 
let's follow the conventional of CTS, right, for context. Okay, so that's the basic stuff. Now we have created a function. So from here, we'll be working with it. So this CTS is trying to store everything from here and then store it inside here, right? Like, like something like a pointer in memory. Just like maybe in case you are doing object oriented programming, you'll be using a word, a keyword self or the keyword this, right? So that is how the CTS is going to be working like. It's going to be CTS dot whatever we want to do here. It's HTML, right? So HTML means that I want to use the HTML format. So I just go with supply something simple. So let's use something like hello world. This is Iris. Very simple. So this is very simple. So this simple code that you have created to be able to run this particular stuff and then render it in the Iris in HTML for us. So let's save it and then let's run it. So let me bring it down a little. Yes, somebody say why am I not using why am I not using the terminal for Google? <laughs> Let's change it, right? Okay. So we have our file here, which is the go app.go, right? To run it, it's just going to go with go run the app.go, right? So we're going to run it, then we're going to show it on the port that is listed in port. Perfect. So it's showing here. And then one of the things when you're working on Windows is that it's telling you what Windows firewall has blocked, but don't just allow it, right? Just allow it. So allow access. Perfect. So just use the same port here. So you look up host port. And now let's start with it. So uh, this simple incognito. Let's paste it here. Voila, so hello world, this is Iris. So, but it's very simple to work with, right? Very, very simple. So, the same way keys I have done it like this. Let's see, H2 tag, and then I come back to the H2 tag, backslash H2. It's going to render this HTML perfectly for us, right? So, to work it, you have to restart it again. Control C, so the server, then run it again. Up, go run up, that go perfect, right? It's telling us the same thing, allow access. Then if I refresh it back again, see that that's changed, right? So it's automatically going to render this particular stuff for us. So that is the first method of working with it. So you can just use the context of HTML to be able to render an HTML file. So that is not the only option. You can also make it like this. Let's change it one to something different. So let's reduce it so that you can see it well. You can change it from this to something different, right? So let's try the different methods of working with it. So you can just go with HTML, right? You can make it not only just HTML. But you can also make it as test. Right? Test and then you just apply your test, whatever test that you want to make. So test. So hello well, this is test. Let's change this one to a route of test. Right? Perfect. That is one way. So you can just use a uh, content of HTML, you can just use content of test, you can just use content content of write. So it gives you several options. So write strength right you can use the right strength to write the strength there so let's change it as hello world this is not iris this is strength right this is strength format this is test format this is test format so it gives you the option of working with several options several forms right so that let's let's call this one as right right standard tempo so if i see this one here then let's stop our stuff and then let's, so let's run it again. I'll go up, go run up dot go to allow access. So when you go back here, now we have our hello world, right? So if I shift to my route to my test here, so that now it is re rendering this test for us. So that's another option of doing it. You can also check for the right string, which was the right, right, and then. It's also working right so this is a string format so it gives you the option of using the html test right string and let's check some other stuff you can also do with it you can also use another option of let's copy this one and then see how to do that you can also use it for json and then several of them so let's see how to work with it in case you are working with on json so the work on, on json is going to be something like json so let's call this on us let's say our api right api so to work on json it's quite simple you can make it like this so that's how simple to work with so then they can just apply json format so you just go with yeah several way methods you can just do iris.map 
because most in most in creating a list, right? In creating arrays, mostly you use map, right? You can use the simple straightforward map. So map, right? Then you supply whatever stuff you want to do. So let's call it as Harris. Or let's give it as let's say MS MS MSG. Then yeah, map it to a particular stuff. So let's say hello this is JSON. Right? Something like this. Okay. Now let's run our particular app. So we have our API for the JSON is working. So that's one of the ways of working it. So if I go back to where we had it here, let's stop it and then run it again. So we're going to run it again. Now perfect. So now let's see. So we already have our running. Right? It was running with a logo. In case I want to check for the API, just go with fast trash API. And then voila. See that this stuff that we type there is coming in right in a very simple way. So that is how to work with JSON format. So it supports HTML, test, write string, and then JSON. Perfect. Now let's check for the last stuff that we can do. Edit. But we can also use instead of using the app.get, you can also use app.handle. So when you use app.handle, it gives you the option of using several stuff. So the app.handle means that you can just go with app.handle, then just go with get, right? Just like this, that get that we had here. Or it can be post, or it can be any of them, put, any of them, right? But let's make it get to the same thing that we have above. So app.get as the first argument, then take the next argument of the route, right? So the route is going to be, let's say, simple, right? Something like simple, can be any argument, then then just going to take the function that we have. So function, then contest your iris dot contest right if it just like just as we have previously then you do whatever thing you want to do just like you have that so far right so I can just put this thing here it's also going to work in the same format for us so this is hello world this is iris Right, so if I save it and then let's run it again, let's close this. Everything is working well. So we can just use the handle, right? Get then the route, then the function, right? Then you can just supply whatever you want to supply there. So let's run it again. So allow access so that it moves to the firewall. I come back to my here. We have the API is working. And if I go to my simple, perfect. So hello, world. This is Iris handler, which is coming from this is Iris handler, right? So that is how to work with Go programming. This is how to build a very basic web application in Go using the get for format. You can use HTML, test, write string, JSON, and then several, or you can even use the handle format. So the basic idea is that you just go straight away with import package main, you put whatever package that you're working with, create a function called main, you initialize it at app, then create a simple app, and then the route, right? And the function, then you just listen on a single. Thank you for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for the next aspect. Stay blessed.